Lancer, the ultimate long-range high-speed bomber aircraft. The Rockwell B-1 Lancer is a long-range, multi-mission, supersonic conventional bomber, which has served the United States Air Force since 1985. It is commonly called the Bone, from B-1. The Lancer is one of three strategic bombers serving in the U.S. Air Force fleet along with the B-2 Spirit and the B-52 Stratofortress. Carrying the largest conventional payload of both guided and unguided weapons in the Air Force inventory, the multi-mission B-1 is the backbone of America's long-range bomber force. It can rapidly deliver massive quantities of precision and non-precision weapons against any adversary, anywhere in the world, at any time. The B-1B's blended wing body configuration, variable geometry wings and turbofan after burning engines, combine to provide long range, maneuverability and high speed while enhancing survivability. These capabilities, when combined with its substantial payload, excellent radar targeting system, long loiter time and survivability, make the B-1B a key element of any joint composite strike force. History and Development of the B-1 Lancer In 1955, the U.S. Air Force issued requirements for a new bomber combining the payload and range of the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress with the Mach 2 maximum speed of the Convair B-58 Hustler. Four prototypes of this long-range, high-speed Mach 2.2 strategic bomber were developed and tested in the mid-1970s. Unfortunately, on 30 June 1977, Jimmy Carter, the 39th President of the United States cancelled the program before production began to reduce the defense budget. But once again, a change in presidential administrations saved the B-1. President Ronald Reagan approved an improved variant, the B-1B, in October 1981, and in January 1982, the U.S. Air Force awarded two contracts to Rockwell worth a combined $2.2 billion for the development and production of 100 new B-1 bombers. Numerous changes were made to the design to make it better suited to the now expected missions, resulting in the B-1B. As mentioned before, the B-1 was built in two versions by Rockwell International. Number one is the B-1A. First flown in 1974, was designed to reach twice the speed of sound at high altitudes and to carry nuclear bombs and short-range attack missiles. And number two is the B-1B. The B-1B is an improved variant initiated by the Reagan administration in 1981. Major changes included an additional structure to increase payload by 74,000 pounds, an improved radar and reduction of the radar cross-section by an order of magnitude. The inlet was extensively modified, necessitating a reduction in maximum speed to Mach 1.2. Technology, Features and Capabilities of the B-1 Lancer The aircraft is operated by four crew, pilot, co-pilot, defensive systems operator and offensive systems operator. It is 147 feet or 44.8 meters long, and, when fully extended, its wings span about 137 feet or 42 meters. The B-1B is equipped with four 30,000-pound thrust class F-101 GE-102 turbofan engines from General Electric. An in-flight refueling receptacle allows refueling from a KC-10 or a KC-135 tanker. The Lancer can carry a payload of 75,000 pounds or 34,019 kilograms and reach a max speed of 900 plus mph or more than 1,448 kilometers per hour, even Mach 1.2 at sea level. Its service ceiling is 9,144 meters. The aircraft weighs around 86,182 kilograms and its maximum takeoff weight is 216,363 kilograms. The B-1B holds almost 50 world records for speed, payload, range, and time of climb in its class. The most recent records were made official in 2004. The B-1B Missile and Weapon Payload The B-1B is no longer armed with nuclear weapons but is capable of carrying the AGM-86B air-launch cruise missile and the AGM-69 short-range attack missile. 
The aircraft has three internal weapon bays and six external hardpoints under the fuselage. The maximum internal weapons payload is 75,000 pounds and maximum external weapons payload is 59,000 pounds. The B-1B weapons payload include 24 GBU-31 Joint Direct Attack Munition at one time, or a combination of 24 MK-84 2,000-pound general purpose bombs, 8 MK-65 naval mines, 84 MK-62,500 pound naval mines, 30 CBU-87, 89, 97 cluster munitions, 30 CBU-103, 104, 105 Wind Corrected Munitions Dispensor 24 AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missiles or 12 AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapons B-1B aircraft were fitted with Lockheed Martin Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod Sniper includes a mid-wave forward-looking infrared, dual-mode laser, CCD-TV, laser spot tracker and marker Sniper gives Tay B-1B the capability for self-identification of targets and bomb damage assessment. <laughs> Radar, Navigation and Communication System The B-1B Lancer used Northrop Grumman APQ-164 Offensive Radar System, a multi-mode radar with an electronically scanned phased array antenna, which provides high-resolution terrain mapping, velocity data, beacon modes, terrain avoidance and weather detection. The B-1's main computer is the IBM AP-101, which was also used on the Space Shuttle Orbiter and the B-52 bomber. The computer is programmed with the Jovial programming language. Boeing received a $45 million contract from the U.S. Air Force to upgrade avionics software of the Lancer. Boeing upgraded the B-1 aircraft with a fully integrated data link. The upgrades included cockpit modifications, new processors, color displays and communications architecture, enhancing B-1 crew situational awareness and communications capability and Ethernet network. The current B-1B stock and its future The U.S. Air Force did not purchase more than the stated 100 B-1B bomber since the aircraft's introduction. By early 2021, the 100 B-1Bs built by Rockwell in the 1980s had been reduced to 62 aircraft. The USAF retired about three dozen in the early 2000s and lost several others to accidents. In a September 24, 2021 article in Air and Space Forces magazine, stated it had retired 17 B-1B bombers from its inventory, leaving a fleet of 45 aircraft. The remaining B-1Bs are expected to fulfill their roles into the 2040s. The B-1 never replaced the B-52 and has served alongside it. As well as alongside the B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber, simply due to the US Air Force need. The B-1B has proven an effective warplane but also an expensive and complex one. It has been upgraded along several lines to keep it viable aerial weapons delivery platform for the foreseeable future. And that is our video about the B-1B Lancer. Thank you for watching and see you on the next awesome video.